YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense Family Clan. It's your boy Uncommon Sense here again and we are back for another mobile review. Our mobile review today actually comes from a niche house new to our collection via Sandbox. Diptyque's Vetiverio. I've been seeing it around in my Scentbox subscription for a long time. Not necessarily this fragrance, but this house. And to be quite honest with you, I did not give the house a chance because I had never heard of Diptyque one. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to know anything more about the house. Partially the naming conventions of the fragrances. Come to find out, they are a bit pricey. So, at that particular time, I was not as enlightened in my fragrance journey as I am now. And I also wasn't as adventurous then. I usually only went with designers that I knew of and had wanted to try versus stepping outside of my comfort zone and trying something different. Admittedly, I'm still a neophyte in my journey into more niche fragrances as well as the House of Diptyque as a whole. In my experience, Better Vario is a great introduction to individuals who are getting into the notes of vetiver. Vetiver can usually tone up grassy, hay-like, depending on your skin chemistry. So individuals who don't particularly like the grassy, cheaper kind of fragrances, this may be a little challenging, but I feel like the way Dipti did this fragrance, it's a digestible way to get into better. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of spray. On first blast. I can smell some florals. Vetiverio is a unisex fragrance. Something that kind of comes off a little, a little bug sprayish, aka off. <laughs> Just a little bit in the open. Just go ahead and acknowledge that. Bringing it further and closer to the nose. There's something a little dry about it. So something woody in here. And something else that kind of comes up is nutty. There is something a little floral slash sweet about it. And so I can definitely see those who identify the female feminine spectrum liking this fragrance. It's not a heavy fragrance in any aspect of the word. I can almost tell that this fragrance will indeed burn off a little bit. It's indeed a fruitier vetiver than I've ever experienced. Right now it's very still natural smelling. That's something that I've begun to appreciate a little bit more with quality fragrances. Natural smelling. Now, I'm not the natural smelling or synthetic snob, but oh, it smells so synthetic. Not necessarily my forte. However, I do appreciate a natural smelling fragrance that's recognizable. Especially as I've become 
a bit more acquainted, being able to recollect what they are. If I had to relate this to something that I already know or have experienced, I'd say this is a lighter, slightly sweeter, more floral version of Encore Noir by Lalique. So vetiver is definitely present. It's like, I get woodsy notes, vetiver, and flowers. Those are the detectable notes to this schnapps. I'm gonna say, I think this is probably a more spring and summer fragrance. I don't believe that this one is prepared for the cooler weather that we're experiencing in Chicago. We're at 51 degrees today. I don't know if this one's particularly prepared to deal with the chill. And I'll tell you guys this, 51 in Chicago is different from 51 in the region. So a lot of folks would be happy that it's 51. 51 in spring is different from 51 in fall. It's a lot crisper of a 51. So meanwhile, it's 51 degrees. The chill in the air is undeniable. trying to think occasions to wear this. I would think this would probably be a more casual fragrance. I don't think it's a day night fragrance. I don't, I don't get romantic fragrances from it. When I think of romantic fragrances, this is not what we're coming to mind. This could be a work fragrance, running errands, could be a gym scent. It does have a cleanliness to it, a clean, natural woodsiness. This could be an escape fragrance. Kick off the shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the XKB. You know, just kick it. Projection, copper drop. Did we get any play? So, you guys stay tuned for the post work recap as we continue to share our experience. Now, get kicks that are very open. All right, y'all. See y'all in a few. Coming back for the end of the day recap, and we're about to get into that thing. Let's go. So, I will say this. Performance, performance-wise, this fragrance, I'm getting that with me. I can still smell the fragrance on my skin. It has been eight hours now. I can still smell the fragrance on my skin. I work in the office. Nothing too strenuous. I haven't sweated the fragrance off. So to rate this fragrance in the performance category, I'm going to actually have to give it a, a half. Now, in terms of projection, it's not a projector. <laughs> I won't lie to you, can't lie to you, it won't be like that. I can smell it slightly on my skin at this moment when I kind of tuck in. You no, know, that's my thing, tucking in, you can get a whiff, you know what I mean? It's not a big projector, like really close. It sits really close to the skin. I am of the mindset that this is probably geared toward a more feminine body chemistry. I'm gonna have to rate this maybe about a six and a half projection. Now price, y'all know me. <laughs> this one's pricey for it to do what it does. <laughs> it's not a big projector and it performs pretty nicely, but I really feel like for the price, for a vetiver fragrance, I have better and could do better. This one's going for, I wanna say roughly about 130, 140. And again, to me, that's just a little pricey. Call me weirdo, but I'd rather spend that on a fragrance that projects a little more, lasts a little longer, and smells a little more pure. This one has kind of a sour vetiver. It's sour as a tangy. There's a little tartness to it, kind of hits you right here. 
I keep getting whiffs of that. Maybe some lime in here that is really realistic. It is tart. And I'm willing to bet it's probably lime or citrus zest. So, um, on my skin, I'm not the biggest fan of it. The next beat, play. I didn't get any play, no compliments. I was in the office with two other individuals. It does not project a whole lot. I don't even know if they smelled it. <laughs> like I said before, I'm not too pressed about it. It is what it is. I'm just trying to relay the information to you. One thing I do like, I do like this kind of sexy blue atomizer case. I love that crystal action. It's interesting because in the air is so floral. But on my skin, it tones up. Sour. Santa Lane clothes. It better not be. Is it a cop or a true? For me? It is a definite drop. I feel like I can do better this one is certainly niche quality for sure and i've given it a fair amount of wear got a half an atomizer left and this is where i'm going to really be grateful about a generous decant to really try to see are you the match are you the fragrance that i believe? and this is not one that i need to have in my collection i thought it would have been but it could quite simply be that the house of dick t is not much and that's hey, okay. Everything isn't for everybody. I did give it a fair shake. I've given it a few wearings and have come to the decision that I will not be proceeding with a full bottle. If you guys have ever smelled Dip Teeks Betaverio, let me know your thoughts. Drop it in the comments below. Also, give me some suggestions of some great vetiver fragrances that you guys think I would like. I'd love to have a chat about it in the comment section. Let's go ahead and get into that thing. So, it's been your man on Common Sense. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and all the way around. I'm out. Till next time.